An interesting question to ask yourself and uh, you can find out the answer right now is whether you're able to stop thinking for a few seconds or so or whether it's impossible to. Find any gap in the stream of thinking. And you don't stop thinking by exercising willpower that would not be helpful. For example, holding your breaths, I don't recommend that. Because you, yes, you could stop thinking by holding your breath and getting very tense. And then you're feeling you're holding thought at bay like this. But the moment you start breathing again, thought will rush back in even more strongly than before. So it's holding your breast, uh, I don't recommend. But if you're not able to just stop thinking, not, and not that many people can do that, you may want to use something to help you to not think and that is for example not holding your breath but being aware that you're breathing Observing that you're breathing, observing the in-breath, feeling it, sensing it, and the out-breath. And even being aware of a short gap at the end of each in and out-breath. You breathe in, hold for two seconds or so, but don't even have to do that and out and there's a cessation at the end of the out breath a natural cessation and then you breathe in again and you continue to be aware of your breathing and when you do that you're not thinking that's why breath awareness is an ancient meditation method It's also very pleasant. And then after a while you may notice there's a sense of aliveness uh, behind the breath, so to speak. So if you're looking for a very simple meditation technique, observing your breath is a good one.
just as inner body awareness that I've written and spoken about. They are related. If you're observing your breath, you're also becoming aware of the uh, energy field inside your body. <clears throat> it's all very pleasant. Very simple. Peaceful. Sometimes thinking may come back in, and if that happens, you just return your attention to your breathing. And in daily life, when you want a moment of no thought, which is extremely important to get into the habit of cultivating the state of not thinking when you don't actually need to think, so that when you do need to think, your thinking is actually more effective, more powerful, more intelligent when you are connected with a deeper realm of not thinking, which is the unconditioned consciousness. So in daily life you cultivate as much as possible, just finding brief moments of no thought throughout your daily life. You could associate it with the breath, I call it, the briefest one is one conscious breath, as I call it, which is you breathe in, you breathe out, and while you breathe in and out, just one in breath, one out breath, and while you do that, you're just very much aware of the air flowing into the body, the air flowing out of the body conscious, one conscious breath, means you're not thinking during that brief moment. And that's very significant. When you're not thinking without losing consciousness, in fact, being more alert than if when you are thinking, that is finding a new dimension of consciousness within yourself. 